Hi, in this video, we're going to introduce you to three amazing beach neighborhoods in Oxnard. Oxnard Shores, Silver Strand, and Hollywood Beach. And on this channel, we're going to tell you all about what it's like to live, work, and play in Ventura County, California. If you're planning on moving out this way, we would love to help you out. Please contact us. Our contact information will be in the notes below. And also, if you have any questions or suggestions on, on this current video, please comment. We'll definitely respond. One way or another, we are looking forward to hearing from you. So come with us and learn and see what amazing activities and how it is to live in these beach communities. community we're going to visit is Oxnard Shores. This hidden gem is full of beautiful sunrises, sunsets, it's dog friendly, there's fishing there, and it's not too busy except for maybe some weekends and holidays. When you get to the northern side of Oxnard Shores, there's a section of beach that is undeveloped. In this section you'll notice that there are some broken bottles and uh, large rocks and asphalt that's been broken up. So it doesn't seem too welcoming. However, don't let that fool you. We just go a little bit further to the area where the houses are, and there's this long stretch of flat, pristine beach. Oxnard Shores, like other beaches in Oxnard, sometimes has tar come up on the beach. Now, this is a natural occurrence and doesn't have to do with any oil spills or anything else. And the tar is easy enough to kind of walk around. However, you do want to check yours and if you're walking your dog, your dog's paws after. A little bit of Dawn and some scrubbing will take that right off. A great thing about the Oxnard Shores Beach, once you actually get down to the beach, is that it's a flatter section of beach, which is really nice because as you're walking down the beach, it's not like a really steep, like a hilly beach you're walking on. Just to the north of the beach, there's actually a power plant that's up the hill a little bit removed from the beach. It is a bit unsightly, but the cool thing is as you walk down the beach past the power plant, you walk through that area into a state park area as well. And you have miles and miles of undeveloped, just beautiful, pristine beaches. The great thing about the Oxnard Shores area is it's the only part of Oxnard that has a grassy beach park. And it is a big grassy area that they have with a playground, with barbecue, with some volleyball courts. There's a trail network that weaves around the area through the park and then through sand dunes that will eventually lead you to the beach. So that is just another fantastically beautiful area. They do charge for parking at that park, but a little locals tip for you, if you wanna park on the south side of that beach park area on the street, you can park there for free and just walk right in. Another cool thing about the Oxnard Shores neighborhood is there's a little shopping center that's right next to it. It's a real local shopping center. There's the Shores restaurant, there is a brewery, there's the Anacapa Surf shop there. And so really locals are hanging out there. It's a great area. There's a bakery. Within just a five minute drive from Oxnard Shores, you can drive north to the Ventura Marina where you have more shops and restaurants and places to hang out. And then there's also access to the Channel Islands from there. There's whale watching tours, there's fishing tours, there's a beautiful marina, absolutely gorgeous area. Out of all three beach communities, Oxnard Shores has the most recently built homes overall. Now there's that section with the mobile park homes, but there's also um, condos, detached condos, townhomes, and single family homes. And these range from traditional um, small bungalow up to the larger, more modern um, luxury homes. Homes start in this area as low as 450,000 for a small condo that is a little bit further away from the beach, all the way up to about 6 million if you're wanting to be on the beach and in a large luxury home with a rooftop deck. Hollywood by the Sea is the next beach neighborhood and area that's just south of Oxnard Shores. There's another big, beautiful stretch of beach there. And like Oxnard Shores, it's a family-friendly beach where you'll see all the 
normal beach activities with swimming, fishing, and even though neither of those beaches are destination spots for surfers per se, you will still see some surfers there. And then one really exceptional thing about Hollywood Beach as well is further south on the south end of the beach, there's a big, beautiful bay and cove with protected water from a seawall. So it's fantastic for swimming. We all, we love to go down there and go swimming, take our dogs there as well. We take the dogs everywhere. That does end up being a little bit more of an off leash area for dogs. Um, so that's just something, you know, if, if you're not too psyched about dogs, you might want to consider. But for overall beauty, it, it's just fantastic when you you're there, you definitely feel like you're on a vacation in an instant. And so I'll also take my paddle board over there and paddle from that bay over into the Channel Islands Harbor, which is also really beautiful, and paddle around and look at the sea lions and the seals, and sometimes there's dolphins. I was uh, swimming in the Channel Islands Harbor one day because that's really very swim friendly too. And um, I noticed, you know, 30 to 40 feet away from me there, suddenly there was a whole mess of sea lions and, and, that, and that was a little scary. <laughs> so I gave them their space, you know, got back on my paddle board and, and went away. Hollywood by the Sea actually got its name a long time ago because Hollywood was filming there. Clark Gable, Charlie Chaplin, Greta Garbo all frequented there. The Chic, the movie was filmed there and it was a great spot for filming back then, but then once people started moving into the area, it became less popular for filming. There's a small parking lot next to the Channel Islands Harbor where a lot of locals go and park so they can see the natural wildlife going on there. You can see dolphins coming in and out of the inlet, or sometimes around the spring, you'll see a lot of sea, sea lions um, playing and everything else, and they actually kind of rope off that area so that you, people will leave them alone. Um, you can also watch older boats coming in and out and kayakers and paddle boarders. There's a nice um, rest, restaurant slash bar that you can go to called the Rudder Room and they have a pool table inside and also on the outside there's volleyball courts where you can sit down with your alcoholic drinks and watch your friends play or just look out at the beautiful beach. This neighborhood has a variety of different types of homes, seeing that when it first started to build up, it was the 1940s to 1960s, and these homes are the small bungalow homes that you'll see, ranch style, that you'll see around. Most of these have been fully remodeled and will sell for around $1.3 million. Um, you'll also get to see the more traditional or um, Mediterranean style that was in when they were building in the 1980s and 1990s. Those tend to go, aren't as updated, and they tend to sell for about 1.6 to 1.8 million, depending on the location. Then you also have lots that have been scraped, and these have the more modern homes, and they can sell up to about 5.5 million to $6 million, depending on, once again, the location. The beautiful thing about that neighborhood, because of the diversity of the different style homes, when you're walking your dogs or you're walking the neighborhood, is there's plenty to look at. And you'll also see that people are kind of just walking around and very friendly. Sometimes it can get a, get a little quiet because there's about 30% of second homes there. There are people who buy the home um, and live in LA and will visit on the weekends or during the summer holidays, or there are college age students who will be staying in one of the apartments or rentals and they're gone during the summer and those homes may be completely empty. So some residents have said that, you know, it's, even though the homes are pretty close to each other, there's a lot of privacy because of that. There's also a section here where it's for 55 plus community. Um, these modular homes can be bought by people who are 55 and older. They do not allow you to have anyone younger really living with you, such as 16 and under. Uh, they run for around 600 plus. The nice thing about these homes is they actually are close enough for you to walk to the beach, 
but also they're close enough to walk over to the farmer's market or there's a little shopping area where they have different restaurants and a small little local grocery store. In that same development, there's also an ice cream store and a breakfast store where on Friday nights they have alcohol infused ice cream so older people can go over and visit and listen to music and have some ice cream. The Silver Strand is a fun and quirky beach neighborhood just to the south of Hollywood Beach. It borders the Channel Islands Harbor, so it's a great vantage point to watch all the boats coming in and out of the harbor. There's Coast Guard, fishing boats, sailboats, just some gorgeous uh, tr boat traffic coming in and out. It's very nautical. And then there's also a walking trail that goes along the jetty there and winds all the way down to a swim beach, which is really popular for families taking their kids there. And also you'll see some adults swimming, although the water is a little colder, even in the summer. And then that's also a good launching point if you have a paddle board or a kayak. You see lots of people doing that who want to tour around the harbor and see the sea life and all the boats and what's going on. Silver Strand is the most popular of these three beach communities. There's consistently lots of locals there, as mentioned, surfing, stand-up paddle boarding, but also kite surfing, boogie boarding, fishing, and hanging out with friends and family on the beach. There are also restrooms there, which is really nice, and there's an outdoor shower, which is great for when you get out of the ocean, and also a small parking lot that fills up quickly. Like all the other beaches, it is dog friendly, but in particular at the Silver Strand, you're limited by times of day for your dog. As you walk south on the beach, you're actually walking towards the Port Wanimi Naval Base, so you'll have a view of that. And you can also walk from the beach to lots of local stores like Pepe's Mexican Food, there's a vintage beach store called Miscellaneous Treasures, there's a corner store and there there's also a sandwich shop called the Strand Witch. Silver Strand is one of my favorite beach communities. It is an eclectic oasis which has different homes varying from a small older bungalow home all the way up to a, a brand new modern home located on the beach. Uh, you'll be walking down the street and you might even see a home that has a mural painted on it or welcome to my beach home with shells all over it. And as you're walking, you might see a father and son walking by with their surfboards because they just finished surfing or neighbors talking to each other. It's just welcoming and you feel like you're part of a wonderful community. One of the things also about it is that each home is located on a little smaller lot than the other communities. This makes it a little harder to drive through the side streets and you'll only see parking maybe on one side or not at all. Um, so parking is limited. Um, homes range for about a hundred grand less than the other beach communities because of these smaller lots, but also the homes are a little bit smaller and they're located closer to the naval base. Homeowners have lived here longer than the other beach communities also. So these homes tend to not go up for sale often. Uh, instead, they're more likely to be a rental or an Airbnb. So if you can find one, consider yourself lucky. This is an amazing community where you have homes that can either look out at the docks or the beach or within walking distance. Thanks so much for joining us for this tour of Oxnard Shores, Hollywood Beach, and the Silver Strand. If you have any thoughts of moving to this area, please let us know. We would love to help you. Our contact information is in the notes below. So look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.